So over here, you can see that I have a selection right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around onto, let's say, for example, the move tool right here. And if I were to go around and move around, nothing actually happens. That is because there is the selection right here. So what I need to do is I need to go around and control C and control V or that is copy and paste the selection. And then I have a floating selection right here. And now I can move around the selection wherever I want right here, as you can see. But this is a floating selection means this selection here is temporary meaning if i were to go around and uh, let's say for example click on something else right here let's say for example i'm going to go around make another selection then the selection actually merges out with uh, the original image right here and that is not um, something that I always want. So let me just press Ctrl Z right here. So I have the floating selection back again right here. So now what I can do is I can turn the floating selection into a new layer. So to do that, I can go around onto new layer right here. And over here, you can see that to new layer is an option. So if I were to go around and click, now you can see that this selection now comes to a new layer. So if I were to go around and then click and drag this, now you can see that this is what you have the layers are separate as you can see so now I can go around and then work around with this layer as I like so I can go around and duplicate it and move it wherever I want right here as you can see and I can also move this out wherever I want and then work around with the floating selection um, and create a new layer just like that so I hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe